Raphael Hershey is a professor of nuclear astrophysics at Keele University here in the United Kingdom. Now, a lot of us are getting very, perhaps, over-excited about all this. Is this a significant day, though, in your view? Yes, it's a great day uh, in, in the step, in, in the journey to a fusion power. I think we will all remember this day in history. It's kind of like uh, one of those moments when we achieve and uh, reach a certain threshold. And this net energy gain threshold, it's very significant psych psychologically uh, for motivation for investments going forward. So we know now that it's possible that we can get more energy out than we put in. And what needs to be developed in the next iteration of these experiments? Do the lasers need to be ever more powerful to excite the atoms to, um, to join up in this way? So the, the main uh, challenges next will be to uh, keep the process going for longer, to make sure the, the process called confinement works uh, very well. But what is exciting is, is today we have an experiment achieving confinement with lasers. And in, in Europe, we have experiments using magnetic fields for this confinement. So we now have two methods to confine the plasma so that it stays hot enough uh, for long enough. Obviously, it's not long enough yet, and then the next challenge will also to, to scale up the experimental facilities and the, the facilities to, to achieve more power, uh, enough power to, to, to supply energy for many homes. But we know now two methods that work, and especially that, that we can get more power out than we put in. Now, on a scientific basis, you'd think, of course, scientists all over the world are collaborating in this exciting area, but in truth, there's huge amounts of money to be made for the person who perfects the system first. What's actually going on? Yeah, I think there are several collaborations, and this is a scientific challenge that cannot be done by a single scientist. So there, are, uh, it's nice to see that there are large international collaborations working together. In particular, the experiment called ITER in France brings together many countries, uh, 35 countries together, and they have signed an agreement for decades to bring uh, these experimental uh, facilities to commercial uh, viability. So while there is some competition, if we think of the two methods that are being developed, the laser confinement and the magnetic confinement methods, there, so there is some competition that's unavoidable, but cooperation is the only way to get there. So th there is also a large cooperation, and that's nice to see. Well, I'm sure we'll remember this day. Raphael Hershey, thank you for being part of our program tonight. Yeah, thank you. Bye.